Hi and welcome to RC Cocktail Lab. The big day arrived. I have received my M4 Max. Finally I can build it. I can't wait because I'm so in love with my M4 that I'm flying it all the time and the M4 Max will be the next step. It is a complete new helicopter. It has a stronger motor. It will work better with um, low RPM, even better, because it has so much power reserves in low RPM. Uh, it has uh, such a motor that, handled, that can handle every RPM situation. And I love low RPM. I love the silence of the motors in low RPM. I love that the dominating sound is the blade sound. I received this helicopter, I opened this package, very late yesterday evening and I didn't uh, did only manage a few thing, things. I assembled the um, cyclic servos. Um, it is, I would say, the brain if the motor is the heart of the helicopter and the part that is very deciding is the frame where all this is sitting later. Um, so I was doing the assembly of this part that is looks complicated but I tell you um, the M4 and the M4 Max they are constructed in such a way that the build is really easy so the M4 was my first um, helicopter kit I have been ever ever built it went flawlessly I didn't have any problem and now doing the M4 Max um, it's the same um, principles of the construction because the frame is uh, uh, very, very, very identical. Um, it's another ESC, it's another motor, it's another tail boom, very beautiful carbon fiber tail boom. It's a beauty. Um, but the assembly uh, principles are the same. And I am so happy that it's so easy because I was always a little bit afraid in front of these kits. But I can tell you, you have no reason to be uh, afraid. Kids can do it. Uh, Peter Schabo um, let his kids, Tongsi and her little brother, build this uh, helicopter kit and they didn't have any problems. So it is really easy and you have to sometimes be exact because you can have a look. Uh, I have always my computer open because I have the, um, the instruction online. This is exactly what you see here. So it looks on the first view, it seems to be confusing. But if you are going really step by step, I was yesterday going beginning with this first uh, part of the tail section, then the second part of the tail section, then this part that uh, keeps the tail belt in tension. So I went step by step. I always used um, uh, blue Loctite, but only inside of the um, uh, screw holes, not to uh, come in co contact with plastic or something else, because this can be very dangerous. Um, so Loctite is your best friend if you use it in the right way. If you treat it on plastic, it can uh, really uh, uh, destruct this plastic, it can make that the plastic breaks and this is what nobody wants but you don't want as well, you don't want to build a helicopter without Loctite. So you know what you have to do? This was the first step. I show you how easy it is because every step, my next step will be 2, 3 and here is written M4 X for Max uh, and the 203 is the step 23. Um, so I will have the motor assembly. Every, everything is described. All the pieces needed are here in this little bag. And the motor was uh, separately in a very beautiful um, protecting case. Um, but everybody is able to identify the motor. So it's easy. I will go on and I'll keep you posted how the progress is going. Thank you. See you again. A couple of hours later and I finished the assembly of the mainframe. Now all these heart and soul and brain components uh, are in this part. Of course, the tail is also very important. 
It is wonderful that this is my second kit. Uh, could you please come a little bit closer, my dear wife? Um, I was doing the wiring already while mounting the frame. So when this side was missing, I, it was easier for me to have access. There are heat rings around these cables so that the um, zip ties and the carbon frame uh, don't damage the insulation of these cables. I did it this time better. I made in one piece a part of heat shrink that put these cables, it's the cable from the tail um, servo and the cable from the ESC, the electronic speed controller, um, up here the servos. This is at the moment provisorial, uh, provisoric because there will be um, later there will be the flight controller and this is already a very important piece of art and tomorrow I'm going to assemble this beauty. Have a look at this carbon fiber tail boom and another piece of art, this piece for the tail rotor. Um, it is from one piece of metal. It is for me wonderful. I could stand it in a uh, glass uh, in, a, in a showcase and, and show it on a plate but it's of course meant for flying but it's I, I cannot get enough from this. These cups are containing different screws from different topics. It's the method I used already with my M1, uh, M, M, M1 M4 and uh, it was proven because nothing is getting mixed so even in the bags some components are coming separately, um, so they are coming uh, in, in, in separate thematic boxes, in little, little, not boxes, bags. And uh, I pull, just take the, 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 the bags, open them and put it inside these caps and no screw get lost, gets lost. So I will do now the tail assembly. This will be Another very important step. It's not so easy because there are a lot of parts. Now we have a bigger uh, tail belt, a little bit wider than in, on the, on the um, M4, um, because we have more power. Uh, so I'm coming back with the last step. Okay, see you again. See you again. The final step is done. I completed the M4 Max build electronically and mechanically. So everything is mounted already. The receiver is mounted, through sky or free sky. The brain 2 flyballess con con controller is uh, mounted. All servos are connected. It is very important to connect them then in the right um, order because every servo has a number, there's some kind of uh, um, uh, skit, uh, skits uh, for, for the, for the uh, um, servo numbers and you have to mount them exactly right so that the helicopter flies right if you give the impulse to fly right and left and so on forward that nothing is reversed and um, everything is done. One step was not easy but I made a big mistake by mounting the tail. So the tail assembly was okay, it is really possible, but when I put in the tail boom into the frame through these um, whole, uh, two holes that are holding, uh, clamps that are holding the tail, I somehow was not aware that I was twisting the belt too much. So I think that's the most difficult part in every helicopter built with a tail, uh, with a belt driven tail, is really this mounting because you have to be very focused. The, the whole belt has to come straight through the whole tail boom, which is quite long. Then you have to turn it 90 degrees exactly, not more, not less and put it on the pulley, which is um, under the um, motor and 
even although my, my dear wife, she's behind the camera, was helping me like a nurse in the operation cell, um, operation room, it was somehow happening that the turn was, the, 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 the belt was twisted once, one time too much. So when I tried to turn everything, it didn't work. So I had to disassemble everything once again, put out the tail um, uh, belt and that was unnecessary. So any tip for anybody who builds um, an M4 or an M4 Max, uh, do this with really high concentration and because otherwise you have more work than, than you would have to and it's very important that the um, main rotor is turning clockwise and the tail rotor is turning counterclockwise looking from the right side as you do right now. So everything is done. To sum it up, this build was Again, very easy. My M4 was already easy. Um, I made some mistakes with the tail um, uh, assembly. That's my that's on my uh, on my conto, so that's my my own problem that I created. But it is very easy to build it, and it's great to build the second kit because I was doing everything a little bit better there whole wiring is better, um, even the wiring of the servos is better. I, I was using more heat shrink um, to protect the cables um, in front of the carbon fiber frame because they can, uh, the carbon fiber can, like a saw, um, uh, damage the isolation. Um, I was mounting the uh, receiver in a better way. Um, so everything is a little bit better than uh, in, the, in the first built and that's something and I think this will be in the future the same so the, my headings will, will get better and better and now is only waiting for me the radio programming so I have to copy the file for my M4 on my radio master I have to copy the file for my brain setup brain 2 setup in for the M4 in the brain and I have to bind the transmitter to the radio. This is a step which is hmm, I'm a little bit afraid in front of it because I'm really very new in this and I don't like it very lot very much. And I found a funny aspect now. The N2 Evo is exactly as long as one blade of the M4 Max. And this is really funny, in my opinion. That shows you how big this M4 Max is. And I can't wait to pick it up because what I have seen from my team uh, pilots, colleagues, or MP team pilot, uh, heavy team pilot colleagues, is this machine is flying great with low RPM. And I love flying with low RPM because the sound is much more quiet and you hear only what I love the most in these bigger helicopters, the wonderful music of these rotor blades. So the next video will be of course the maiden flight of this M4 Max and I hope to see you again. If you like this video give us a like, if you like it very much subscribe and see you again. RC Copter Love.